Again, now we are just about exactly 30 minutes from now till when the polls close. We're going to now go live to Meredith Blair, who joins us live from a Nikki Haley watch party. It's being held in downtown Charleston and Meredith. Not many people in there right now, but what can you tell us about this event? What's the atmosphere like this evening? Hey, Justin. Yeah, that's right. We are at the Charleston uh, Place Hotel here in downtown Charleston. We're in the Grand Ballroom where preparations are officially underway. Everybody is getting ready for her. Nikki Haley's arrival. She's expected to be here in about an hour and a half. Now, like you said, no crowd yet. Doors open to the public in just around 30 minutes. They open at 7 o'clock. Haley is expected to make her remarks right around 8 tonight. Now, her appearance downtown follows a week-long trip around the state with the last two rallies being held right here in the Low Country yesterday. One of those in Monk's Corner and the final one being over in Mount Pleasant at Patriots Point. Now, during her time on the campaign trail, she's highlighted issues like border security, the country's trillion dollar debt and Veterans Affairs health care. Her campaign says they've spent more than six million dollars across the state just on TV ads alone. Now, Haley says that she's running for president and she will not be the vice president if former President Donald Trump wins. Now, the candidate cast her ballot this morning over on Kiowa Island and polls close in less than half an hour now. So if you have yet to choose your pick for the Republican presidential candidate, you need to get out there and act fast. Like we said, Carly, I think she's out there. She said she's been seeing some lines and people flooding in and out of those doors. So get out there. You have less than 30 minutes. We'll be here waiting for Nikki Haley's arrival. We'll have a full recap of the election results tonight at 11 and what she's saying to her supporters. Live uh, in downtown Charleston, Meredith Blair, Live 5 News.